So you made it to boys regionals, mm -hmm. like because you earned it. How did that? How did that work? Like, tell us how that happened. Oh, well, I was 113 at the time, and I was placing for third and fourth, and I did everything I could to place third and fourth. And placing third meant, oh, I got a better opportunity to wrestle second, because if I wrestled for fourth, then I would have to go to first wrestle with first and that was like, I was like no I need the better opportunity I need to wrestle out there and place so when you walk in the gym and uh, it's another match and now that people know you what's it like to go in and people are looking and, and they're, they're there they want to see you and they heard about you what, what's that like it feels amazing the spotlights on me and it's it's all these four years that I worked hard for and people are chanting my name and it's like it's amazing because it shows how I show all my hard work and my mom my greatest number one fan always shows up never in her mind and she's like I knew you could go this far you could keep on going and my coaches always say pain is, le is weakness leaving out the body and yes I go up to that and I keep on showing up every day if uh, the Iowa Hawkeyes or Oklahoma State or one of these big time wrestling programs that come up to you in Kissimmee and they, they give you the whole song and dance and they, um, you know, they, they, they want to give you an education, um, would you entertain, would, would, you, would you think about uh, going to somewhere like that to, to compete at the highest level? What would that look like? Yes, I would just depends on a full ride or not um, because medical does take me in a different route. I do want to be a sonographer, but again, wrestling won't stop. I'm still going to come here, help out my school because they've done a lot for me. And yes, I continue wrestling. Can wrestling, are there any opportunities, say maybe with, with Olympics or, or, or international competition or with, with uh, AAU or any other opportunities for women outside of this high school setting as you move forward? Is it, have you explored that or, or thought about that at any shape or form? Um, a college reached out to me to wrestle for them and I was thinking about it. But I know other colleges along the way are gonna come in, come in my way and I will decide or I'll think about it. But yes, it can take me that far. When you go to Kissimmee this week, if you guys win states, what would that be like? What would that mean to your Tornadoes Nation, Booker High School, Sarasota, the Sun Coast, your family, your coaching staff, the student body, all these people? Uh, what would that mean to you personally? Well, I'd feel very happy and very grateful to know that I left everything on there and that other girls out there in the community can go and wrestle and wrestle for us as well because wrestling is is a sport that is mentally, physically, emotionally, it's all there for you and if you show up, you're doing yourself a favor. You're, you're giving all the, the weight off your shoulders when you realize how a coach can love you that much, how all this training can do for you and how far it takes you. Is it fun? Yes, it is. It is. Um, every day, come out there, go on the mat, train with your you train with your family. And you get mad at your family, you get happy with your family, you're there for their moments. And it's it's amazing.